Hey guys, Wicked Witch 11 here, and I'm your new host for Saturdays on The Witch's Voice. This week we're tackling the topic of alcohol and drugs during magic. So, me and my personal practice, I never had or felt the need to resort to any type of substance to be able to work my magic. However, I know many practitioners and many witches who use psychedelics or lucidogenics to be able to reach a higher level of consciousness in order for them to work their magic, which to me is perfectly fine. And I'm very big on telling everyone that if it works for you and it works for your practice, then by all means do it and do not listen to what anybody else tells you. However, me personally, I never felt the need to use any type of substance to be able to reach any level of consciousness simply because I have found other ways to be able to get there. Um, I usually do intensive meditation, breath work, and trance work. Therefore, I am able to quiet my mind to be able to get to that state where I can do my magic properly. However, like I said, I, I know many people and many practitioners who are not able to quiet their minds and that the thoughts take over their minds. Therefore, they can't focus enough to be able to work their magic, which is perfectly fine. Um, but me personally, I never had to. I don't have much experience with any type of substance like psychedelics or lucidogenics. However, we know by history and by going back into our ancestry that certain tribes have used lucidogenics to be able to commune with the spirits and to be able to commune with their ancestors such as the shamanistic tribes so i mean again if it works for you and it enhances your practice then by all means continue doing it it's perfectly fine now, when it comes to alcohol and alcohol consumption, it has been my experience, and I've seen it on other people, that alcohol basically takes over your brain. Sometimes if you drink a little bit too much, you're not able to even remember what happened in the last five minutes. Therefore, that is a very dangerous place for you to be when working magic. It is my belief that if you're not able to function properly or even 100%, then you shouldn't be getting into magical workings at all. It is very reckless and irresponsible to work magic in that state because you're not able to focus, like I said, and you are more prone to having accidents, magical accidents. And these magical accidents can actually have very severe consequences later on. So... If you like to get tipsy or buzzed or even have a couple of drinks, it's fine. However, think twice before stepping into a ritual or any magical work before deciding to take any type of drinks whatsoever. Um, however, in my practice, I do use alcohol, but I use alcohol as a way of libation during my rituals, and I also give it as offerings to my gods outside of ritual. I also use alcohol um, in the water that I place on both my working altar and my goddess's altar as a way to filter out negative energies in the space. Water itself is a filter and adding the alcohol to it, in this case I use vodka or rum, it just creates a very powerful filter to filter out the negativity around the space so that I don't have anything flying off the shelves, spirits running amok, things knocking down, you know, it contains the energies and it filters them out. So in that way, I do use alcohol in my personal practice. However, I don't consume it before ritual, and if I do consume it during ritual, like I said, as a form of um, libation, I don't get to a particular state where I'm not able to function. That's the very that's the main thing here: moderation in cons in consuming this type of substances. Same thing goes with lucidogenics and psychedelics. You need to be able to know 
that you, if you consume the substance, you need to know that point where you can't cross, that point where you're not able to function properly or 100%, so you do not get there, and then you're able to practice your magic properly. Now, I would like to say, though, that if you are under the age of 18, I do not condone and I do not suggest anyone under the age of 18 to take psychedelics or hallucinogenics or alcohol for that matter. Now, if you are over the age of 18, then it's perfectly fine. You're an adult and you have the choice to be able to take any type of substance you want. However, if you are under the age of 18, please stay away from any type of substance, whether it is lucidogenics, psychedelics, or even alcohol. Again, under the age of 18, a big no-no. Stay away from it. And guys, I think that's all I have to say on the topic. Thank you so much for watching. Till next Saturday, um, check out my personal channel at Wicked Witch 11 here on YouTube. And till next time, thank you so much for watching and blessed be.